this beautiful sandy water and we had a charcuterie and just a chill beach day. It's really nice. We're getting set to leave tomorrow. So it's nice to just have a day in the sun and enjoy it. We got cotton candy clouds tonight. They're absolutely fantastic. Thanks, Elvis. It was fun. Yeah, <laughs> Cheers, <was awesome>. dude. <laughs> So this lovely rod tangled with Wayne one too many times. <laughs> yeah. So we got to strip all this line off because we don't have nearly enough out for what we want to catch. So we're going to peel this off, chuck it, and reach to pull it with some 80 pound. We got some new lures we're excited to use. Lots today. of pink pom poms. It's going to be a fish. I'm so day. excited, you guys. Look at this. I got my pink pom-pom back again. We lost it last time we went fishing. And luckily in St. Martin, it's the only place they sell this thing. So I'm so excited. This is my fish getter. Ugh, this is so painful. We were supposed to have consistent wind of about 12 to 13, gusting 15, 16, and we gust to about 10. <laughs> Oh, we thought we were going to have a great sail today and really it's just rocking out here in the crazy ass swell. So it's a little bit more wavy than we expected and with no wind we can't get any sail out to give us a little bit of heel to cut through it. So we just bob around like a big old bobber. I'm hoping, hoping that as the day goes on it opens up and the wind feels in and we can at least get a head sail out for a little bit of time. I hope. Okay. okay, so that was the craziest thing. We were standing in the front, uh, looking back across the solar panels, kind of checking out the horizon. And all We've of a been... sudden we saw this skitter in the water. I'm like, oh, it was a thing, it was a thing. And Josh is like, like the lures in the water. I'm like, no, it was a fish. And then all of a sudden this male and female mahi went boing, boing, and hit the line. And <laughs> You can see it is bent. Oh it's a yeah, big fish. it was crazy. We've been standing out front looking for whales all day, and then we this fish was glowing. It just launched through the air like probably 30, 40 feet, just choo, and then hit the hit right on the lure, just instantly roar, ran out all the line. And then we had to run back to get it, and it wasn't set tight enough, and try and stop it before we <laughs> lost it. Oh yeah, so we got a fight going on now. And he's way out there. It's a lot of line out too. That was so badass. And we were like, well, we're getting close to the end of the day. And we didn't see any 
whales. But hopefully we get a fish. It's usually start hitting it around this time. Sure enough. But it was weird. You could see the male and female jump through the air together. And we definitely got the male. He hit. <laughs> and it's cool because we motored for a good chunk of the morning. It was just so dead. But we finally got some wind and we're just running downwind right now. Full sail. Do about three or four knots. I'm like, ah, fish don't hit on this kind of speeds. We're not going fast enough. And then right away, boom, it was awesome. So you got a scrap on your hands. <laughs> a fight, baby. It's a fight. He's one, getting in the boat. One hell of a fight. He's scrapping. He's like, no, 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 not today. And I say, yes, yes, yes. And you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's getting closer now. He is. Oh, you're so pretty! He's a big bull, oh my god! his life more than we did I guess he was big he was huge he uh, he fought so hard that he took the whole end of the line off he just snapped it he snapped it I had him so close I kept swinging this thing at him and it was bouncing right off his nose dunk dunk and I couldn't get him ah, I should have gave you the gaff Mm, it's just so hard to reach. We it is hard gaff. to reach. We need a longer gaff and a net. Remember I said it? Long time ago, we need a net. Okay. Uh, <laughs> dang it. Oh, I'm sore. I'm done. That was a fun fish today. <laughs> I can't reel in another one. <laughs> I can't believe we didn't get that thing in the boat. Uh, that's I the second huge one. I should have tried from the back one. here again. That was closer than yeah. here. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. I hurt so bad across your Oh, head. I can imagine you were slipping and sliding and holding and all of the things and... Maybe he'll catch the other one. Maybe he's still hungry. Yeah, Who knows? I think he's gone. I think he's gone. <laughs> he's had the fight of his life. Yeah. So did we. Yeah. We had the fight of our life. That was a lot of fun. That was a epic experience to watch him actually hit then the line to go and I would say the last hour trying to bring that fish in. 
I can't believe we lost him. <laughs> I can't believe we lost him. <laughs> we need to do better. We need to do better. We need better equipment, apparently. Oh, we do. That real sucks. For starters. And this thing, what it... We have more freeboard than this. I can't even reach over and get that. <laughs> All right. Lessons learned. We're back at it, baby. I love you. Thank you. That was a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we lost. He was huge. He was huge. He was the biggest head was like that. Oh. that I've ever seen. Uh, Dang it. Once again, counting our chickens before they were hatched. And we just got to get the damn fish in the boat. That's it. Fish in the boat. Period. Done. So much easier if we could get on the swim step and do it. But yeah. Uh, okay. We need a longer cast. Yeah. Dang it. <laughs> on to our next adventure. Oh, don't come this way. No. I see what they say, A water spout is a spinning funnel that forms over the water. There's two types, one that happens in calm weather and isn't usually dangerous, and the other, it's like a forceful land tornado, but over the water. So if you see a water spout, the safest thing to do is move away from it and off to the side. It's important to stay as far away as possible because it can be extremely hazardous to you and your boat. Lucky us, we're heading into nightfall and they keep touching down just off our port side. It's gonna be a long night. Yeah. It doesn't look like it's connecting in the middle, but it's totally kicking up water. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> From mahis to water spouts, we're getting it all here this afternoon. Oh, we just had one form and touch down right over there. Oh, it's still on the water, you can still see it. Is it? Yeah, oh, at... I see it. Yeah, but you can't see the spout from the sky, which is weird. Uh, the spout is gone, so now that's just the remnants on the water. Oh, that's so crazy. That is nuts. <laughs> we have this huge black cloud that we're like, oh, I think we got to worry about a rainstorm possibly coming our way, and now we're worrying about spouts. Oh. <laughs> this is turning into a very interesting sail. Oh, it's still going on the bottom. You see it? Yep. Yeah, it's stretching out again. Yeah, there it goes. Oh, downwind sailing is so nice. <laughs> Isn't it so easy? It's pretty funny too. We have a really confused sea state too, all day today. So we have huge swells coming in from the east and uh, huge swells coming in from the north. So they're colliding and making it soupy like this. And, uh, our sail doesn't like it. Our and our, we don't have enough wind to keep it full full. So every time we get one of these, it just the sails just going flap, flap. So we just tacked, and we're trying to sort of maintain a course. And uh, as you can see, <laughs> it's a little bouncy. But we are getting treated to one of these, and that is gorgeous. That's on that side. On this side, we keep seeing water spouts dropping down out of that cloud and where all that rain is and stuff. So we're keeping a closer watch on that, but it should skirt right along beside us. And we're gonna take in this heavenly sunset. What a beautiful sky tonight, wow. <laughs> the sea states calm down a little bit. We're still a bit bouncy, but nowhere near as crazy as it was earlier. And this sun is a very, very happy thing to see right now. We sat around two and a half to three and a half knots all night long with our head sail doing this. And whack! And then I do this and wow, it was the most rolly evening, I think, night sail we have ever done. And it was a following sea, so nobody got any sleep last night. We're absolutely exhausted. So coffee right now as the sun is coming up and we just made our way into the Virgin Islands. So we're gonna do a quick check-in online. I hope it'll work. And then we are going to sleep. It's gonna be lovely to explore here. But we need some rest. We both are cross-eyed. We're so tired. It's funny. 
we were sailing in here and the sun was just starting to come up and we were both in our little snuggly spots on our bean bags with these big beach towels on us and it was so rough all night long just not like a rough passage just uncomfortable just flipping and flopping it was the smacking of the sail that was yeah and the sail we tried sleeping in the forward berth in the back berth we tried the settee nothing worked it was just terrible and uh we could see the sun coming up we could see land and i'm like you know we could be at a ball in like an hour and a half we just fire up the engine tamara's like start that thing <laughs> <laughs> so we we furled in the head sail and makes we weren't going more than two knots at the time but we did the whole night and it's cool our track i'll see if we could save it on here so we can show it on here but all night long we just tacked back and forth for hours and hours and hours so that great big mahi that uh, we tried to get on the boat yesterday was so heavy and strong he broke our fishing reel so we cannot actually reel it in it's got the gear inside is is missing and clicking so we can't use it because we're worried if we get another fish on he's just gonna run it straight out it's funny i had my gloves on you'll see in the video too i was pulling in the line and tamara was wrapping it pulling in and wrapping it I am so sore, my shoulders are killing me today. And I'm frustrated that we lost that thing. That was the biggest mahi I've ever seen. It was huge. It's funny, because all we have on board for keeping fish is our five gallon pail. His head wouldn't have fit in it. It was humongous. It was the biggest mahi I've ever seen. Yeah. And it's just in the fish tail. It was just a tank. Yeah. And uh, I guess he lives to fight another day. After a delightful overnight sail filled with adventure and beautiful sunsets, we are thrilled to be returning back to the USVI. One aspect we absolutely adore is the familiar feeling of being home in the US. The Virgin Islands National Park offers stunning white sand beaches, hikes to historic plantation sites that reveal a challenging past, visits to ancient petroglyphs, and snorkeling among the beautiful coral reefs. With two-thirds of St. John designated as a national park, it's a really unique destination. So now it's time for a quick nap before we go do some epic snorkeling. See y'all next week.